I love it. Uh, we interact with companies on almost a daily basis. Every one of the teams, they have teleconferences every week with the companies. They talk to real industry people. I think it's a great experience. This is my fourth semester in enterprise, and I've gotten to work on both internal research and development and external, um, working with sponsors. And uh, I have also become a project manager this semester. So that gives me leadership experience that I can apply to uh, when I get a career. Today we're dealing with uh, birefringent materials, which is uh, materials that can change the polarization of light that passes through it. Photonics is uh, exciting because uh, we're finally becoming in the 21st century able to manipulate light um, in an everyday basis. Uh, telecommunications, lasers, uh, optics, uh, telescopes, all of the technologies that we're using today are just now becoming, um, I guess, of age. It's an interesting field, but it's also an intensive field. Uh, we're, this is something really new for most students here. And the, just the physics basis of it is so strong that it, it's really good at keeping you, keeping you studying, keeping you hitting the books, keep reading, but at the same time, just actually listening to what can be done really keeps you motivated and working hard at it. What we've got now is a, is a coherent and integrated program uh, that is very tightly coupled to both the lecture experiences and ultimately the major design experiences that the students are going to encounter before they get out of here uh, with a degree in electrical or computer engineering. We, we've crafted a program that is uh, designed to take uh, students in off the street who may or may not come from a tool using background. Uh, I don't care if they know which end of a soldering iron to pick up. We're going to bring them in and we're going to give them the intellectual tools and the physical skills uh, to take their place as practicing engineers when they're ready to graduate. Uh, along the way, they're going to work with the state-of-the-art uh, industry standard software tools, uh, state-of-the-art hardware and equipment, uh, and they're, they're going to encounter experiences that will allow them to discover for themselves many of the theoretical things that they're seeing in the classroom. design it's like especially with uh, the team I'm on this year uh, they bring together uh, several different groups of uh, majors of engineering majors to to make it more realistic feel for what the real world is like you're working with cross-functional team and then we're doing uh, like work that is pretty prestigious uh, the, the team I'm working on is developing uh, electronic steering system for a General Motors vehicle so uh, this is like futuristic work that I mean, we have the potential of seeing uh, everyone on the road driving. So uh, it's, it's very uh, rewarding and challenging all at the same time. Is detect the presence of moisture in their product? Uh, I think it helps me because it's just getting the experience with working on a project and you know you have to get this done for our sponsor. I mean it's just like in the real world and you when you're given uh, a job, I mean, you have to get it done. You can't just slack off and not do it and expect to still work for that company the next year. So what they do is they take these storage facilities and they have fans hooked up to them. And then we're going to implement a variable frequency drive and a sensor. And these sensors are buried within this great big pile of potatoes. And the facility that we went to actually provides Frito-Lay with 75% of the potatoes uh, for their production of potato chips. So this project's very crucial. Right now, what's happening? Michigan Tech the, uh... does an excellent job preparing students to go into industry and to be productive from the first day. Okay, Michigan Tech prepares students to to complete the work that industry is most interested in. It is uh, 
typical that uh, the students are interviewed by the corporation that, that is sponsoring their project. In some cases, they're hired by that corporation as well. Basically what we are is we're a research and development firm completely run, operated, and managed by students. We operate within the university as our own little company. We work with external companies like Rockwell Collins, Guidant Medical, Tyco Toys, General Electric, and we do research projects for them. We build them prototypes. Um, we solve problems for them that they have on an everyday scale. on the John Deere team. It is an external team sponsored by John Deere and they asked us to create pretty much just a sensor test system for their engines. Uh, this is the Blue Marble Lab. Uh, we're currently working on uh, nine different projects. Uh, we have externally funded teams and internally funded teams. Um, basically companies do pay us to work on projects for them, do research, actually build products that are going to go right into their factory. Basically our projects revolve around either worldwide security, um, personal security, there's home security, uh, police vehicle safety, um, all different kinds of security aspects and that's what we're focused on. The industry really looks to enterprise experience. Or like, I worked for a company for two summers and then I helped them recruit at the career fair. And the first thing they would tell me was, you know, you look for, we have different criteria and then also enterprise experience, uh, previous internship experience, previous co-op experience. So enterprise is pretty much uh, at the top with co-op, uh, cooperative education experience and an internship experience. So you, so just from that you can see how much of an importance it is, how much of an importance industry holds to enterprise. Uh, we have several projects going on. They all basically focus on the same thing, and that's uh, embedded sensors with microcontrollers. Our biggest project right now would be our data acquisition cube. It's a microcontroller, and it has a changeable sensor card layer, and uh, we want to use that for secondary education. Uh, it'll, be, it'll have Bluetooth, so it'll communicate with a Palm Pilot, and it creates what's called a Palm-based laboratory. Recruiters from industry come to Michigan Tech. They're very, very pleased with the professional experiences that our students have while they're students. Uh, as I say, the senior design gives them a chance to have worked on in an industry-like setting and deliver on a project in the end. Uh, find ways to, to overcome problems that engineers encounter every day, that our students get a chance to do that as part of their education. And uh, many of the students that are in Enterprise have substantial leadership skills developed through that program. We've had students that leave Michigan Tech and are hired not into entry-level positions in electrical engineering, but into management positions. Being able to, uh, to apply the knowledge we've learned over the last four years has been uh, pretty remarkable and seeing what we can actually put together. I just had a great experience at Michigan Tech and I'm going to be sad leaving it. That's our job is to make the most professional students with the best resumes in the world. Mm -hmm.